strong in this region and everything is on the line. Playoffs loom for both of these teams. Should they win today, they will secure a spot. The loser, however, well, I dare say they will be feeling sore and sorry for themselves. Zofia <laughs> banned instantly and Ippy Style has been absolutely slaying on the Zofia lately. He has. That has always been his signature plays on the Zofia. So that's the Chiefs doing him a bit dirty there. But look, I, I think it's a good ban. It's certainly a comfort for him. And he oh, has digital. been the real impact player. <laughs> Oh, I just love the banter that will forever remain true. Not only were these two uh, rosters, you know, just so closely matched in their last time out, but it, it does uh, go to question how much of the org's reputation has rubbed off on them as well. Both of these teams are in multiple titles together and have always been fighting it out for the supremacy of ANZ. And right now, Thatcher being banned out, Smoke to start us off on those defense bands and the mirror which actually played a huge effect in that game just recently raven yeah actually that's such a good point that you brought that up massive effect and in fact order played it a 100 percent of their defense rounds so that's been banned out by chiefs now it's going to significantly change a lot of orders defense setups because you don't necessarily build strats around mirror these days but she can be a real linchpin for some of those strats and she was in that match, it was something Chiefs really struggled to deal with. So yep. I like that ban for them. In fact, the bans in general are very different to that recent game that we saw. It it does beg to question, you know, how much have both of these teams been uh, kind of keeping an eye on, uh, or not even keeping an eye on, how much have they really wanted to change? Because Order uh, in their ban phase in the previous map took out the Nomad and the Aruni, whereas Chiefs went for the Ace and the Valkyrie. So like you're saying, Raven, completely different operators uh, that will not be used here. Now, the Lion just sees so much play. Uh, it is, uh, it's just a map for it, right? When you can uh, kind of roam so freely, you definitely need to be bringing that. So I would likely say that we will just see so much of that. There's gonna be a lot of roars today. Uh, but the one thing I do note, Raven, is order on that zero. That is a pick that they have stuck now in this second matchup. Yeah, zero is, uh, he's still really developing in terms of the way he's used competitively, but I have loved some of the implementations of the way the Argus launcher is used and those little cameras. can be a really good way to supplement Flank Watch, for example. If you think about that, you can chuck those cameras in very interesting situations because you're shooting it, you're not having to jump a drone anywhere. Mm. On top of that, uh, you can use a drone to then drone site. You can't obviously use an Argus to get info on site. I mean, you can, but it's very static. So yep. you can prioritize those drones for further info as opposed to flank watch. And I think that is a really strong aspect to Zero's gadget. No doubt it will surely play an effect here. We saw Worthy and Vars, both of those players, very, uh, I would say, versatile on their defense and sure to be a menace, to say the very least. So being able to keep an eye on them in certain factors is going to be quite a large play. Now, that is Vast with the C4 early on here. Specker looking to take charge. God Legion, oh, manages to actually find Specker on an attempted rotate back to Hall of Fame. And it be style, oh no, that's not the sign you want to be seeing. A headshot to start off with. This man, if he gets gunning, it is going to be incredibly hard to keep tabs on him. Yeah, it looks like he's already playing quite confident and fluid as well. There's a good little trade there to get God Legion. But if I'm in the corner of the Chiefs, I would also be feeling like the pick on Specker was a good one. Uh, taking out that Yana early is frag grenades, but also a lot of info gathering from the Gemini Replicator. So, at least in terms of that trade, the Chiefs have probably come out on top. And now, with a minute 20 left, Raven, we are going to need to see what order are going to decide to do. Aquarium looks to be Aqua for most. Seems to be the big point of contention here. And quite early on as well, a minute, there's three players stacked across there with Joker just playing outside on Hookah. Uh, curious to see what they're going to look for here. They still have the vertical pressure. 
And no one seems to be trying to isolate it right now. Digital actually nearly gets caught out. I don't know if that was a pre-fire or what that was, but nearly got him. Yeah, he was lucky he didn't lose more health. And oh wait, Ippy Star just lost a lot of health there to a C4. Probably Digital's below. And Auto have set up pretty nicely for this attack. And something that they're really strong at. They're pretty no-nonsense. Oh. Their oh. attack set up. So, oh, no-nonsense with the shots from Worthy. That's going to give Chiefs the man advantage going to execute. Okay, this is big. Cutie's going to be going in from Hooker right now. However, I just don't think the pressure is going to be enough. It's just not, it's not possible. This is huge from Chiefs. They start out the first round with four players left alive. What a statement here as they take their first defense and Hooker. They can move on now. Kitchen or bar? What is their preference? Yeah, look, the Chiefs really stood up on that defense. Auto had a good little entry phase. You know, they traded God Legion out over on the penthouse side of the map in theater. And then they got really quick control of Aqua, but that was where they got stalled out. They knew there was going to be some vertical presence. It did come in the hands of Digital. Hmm. And they didn't really deal with that. But at the same time, when they decided to go deep, they hadn't really destabilized the player in Drinks Bar. And you know, they hadn't really gotten good vertical control from the roof where you would normally get hard breach lines in through to the drinks bar. Top yep. of that, they didn't have VIP presence, so nothing happening from Vaze. It allowed the Chiefs to sit back, take their shots, cover each other, and you saw it. It was just an utter collapse. Attackers need to locate and defuse... The collapse the is certainly true. Now, I'm not going to say it's on order by any means because uh, regardless of what we see uh, Coastline favoured on nowadays, be it attack or defence, the last time these two teams played... It was definitely defender sided. Both teams pushing for two Attackers have located uh, in the, the advantage. So, most likely, you will see Chiefs run away with an early lead, if not the lead of the half. And starting out with a really, really demanding round. I think for me, that's the big thing is not just the fact that they're able to, you know, successfully take their first defense, but just how they've done it as well be somewhat demoralizing and I, I think one quick point I'm going to make uh, obviously is, is Ippy style you know the, the desk talked about it Ippy style this is his last game uh, in competitive siege from all accounts so uh, you will want to keep an eye firmly on him because if he is given room to move he will destroy on this map yeah very wow. confident fragger in general but feels like the amount of Coastlines that we've seen Ippy style just go ham on uh, is just, it's very numerous. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is another one in the books. Now, God Legion has been yellow pinged here. They know he's in this corner, oh, but he's going to actually win that gunfight against Jack Daddy on the peek out. Did lose a lot of HP. Worthy was there to back him up as well. So this is a good start to the round here from the Chiefs. That's another opening for God Legion and... <laughs> if, if we're talking about players you don't want to see given that room, it is God Legion. He has been such a formidable player for the Chiefs for such a long time. Uh -oh. Um, What? I, I mean, like we'll, we'll talk about that later, but that may well uh, be a little bit of a detriment there. Where, where and how and why? Oof. Huh? Yeah, not sure. <laughs> not sure what happened there. I guess we'll Attackers have to, to see whether that really still affects them late round, but it does give order that man even this, as well as the fact that Legion's low, so really this has put order in a, a better position. Now, they have taken this east side of the map in through Kitchen. That means that these players in Sunrise Bar are going to really struggle to rotate out, and now Digital is under a lot of pressure. Kitty <sighs> progresses, takes him out, order looking much cleaner on this attack. Digital has been a player that has, I mean, we, we just need to say it, he's been very quiet uh, for the Chiefs, regardless of how well they've done in APAC South. They are teetering on the verge of pushing into top four and securing playoffs. But it's all oh, worthy. Does he ex Oh, baiting out yeah, cutie. Goes for the wide swing, but it is going to be the kill confirmed. As now God Legion and Fisher are the only that remain. Still with a little bit of vertical presence, but that may well be shut down. Joker gets swung while looking at the footsteps. I think he may have even been looking at which way they were going, Raven, but regardless, that gives them an opportunity now. 
It does, but what is big here is there's no distance denial, and now it's all on the the hands of Fisher guy. He's Ooh. got vertical. He does light up Specker, but it is Ippy style that's going to be able to confirm this plant. So post plant situation here. The Fisher guy won the V3. Oof. Well, there's no getting past Specker. I mean, I don't really think you could ever win that fight on <laughs> someone holding you so tightly. At least it's a valiant effort, I guess. Give that for yourself. But just such a such a much. Uh, sorry, there we go. We're going to get there in the in the end. It's a much better round from order, and just kind of touching on you know the previous match. It was a, a 50-50 bomb site from uh, all accounts. On it was Chiefs defense. So them losing that early on don't. Don't write that off yet, because there is just as uh, just a clear of opportunity for us to see that side again, and most likely we may do. But we are going to kitchen, and we move forward here, as I believe I just saw the vigil. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, Vast looks like he's going to be uh, trying to be a little elusive there on that vertical play. So see exactly how they end up utilizing that. Speaking of us, I just can't help but feel the, the last round really derailed for the Chiefs. As soon as Fisho, for whatever reason, C40's mate. <laughs> yeah. And once that was done, it just felt like it was a, a total train wreck for the Chiefs. Yeah. Hopefully they can tidy that up. But yeah. It looks like they are going to hold a pretty aggressive vertical position up here. Ten seconds left. <laughs> I do wonder as well whether that may have been a, uh, a pre-prep C4 and an accidental press. <laughs> I mean, I honestly don't know. Uh, we'll wait and see now. Moving forward here. I am really curious to see what Vast does and how they utilize the Vigil. Just because of how dense this map is, how close this is, it can be extremely hard to isolate him. Uh, when he's not on Vigil, let alone when you can hide from pretty much any intel gatherer. But we'll hold on to that point for a moment here. Because it is going to be Order that... I, I think Order need to step up in this occasion. There were a couple of times we saw this kitchen defense uh, on the last play day, or the second last play day of OCN, and it was... <laughs> It's just such a, a strange map to watch, but mostly it did favor the defense. So Chiefs should be sitting decently comfortable here with two minutes left. Both teams very spread out at the moment as well. Looks like there's going to be some beautiful little backup there from the Chiefs. Gold Legion's going to get that opening pick, but it's going to be traded. Oh, not confirmed yet. In fact, it looks like Vast is going to be picked up. But again, these entry phases for the Chiefs have been really strong on the defense side. They are really yeah. putting up a forward front to Order's entry. Spotted backing to site on that E1D. And they will be clearing out lobby now as maybe starting to get an idea of the attack that they want. Cutie. I mean, that pre-fire just miss misses Fisho guy's head. And... That second floor presence has, has well and truly been established, but you do wonder now how much time do Order have to bait through? We don't have, obviously, the, the smoke up, which would play such a pivotal role here. So, what's the play? Oh. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is where it does get tricky because Kitchen is all about getting this vertical control, flushing the, your opponent out. It's really hard to anchor on Kitchen when your opponent has vertical control. And this is what you're seeing. The Chiefs have all spread out. Fisher looks like he's the solo on site. And they've got some really good crossfires here. And Digital is going to get aggressive on the oh cool by stairs. God. He takes out Jack Dad. The Chiefs putting up a great fight here in order with only 25 seconds. It's going to make <sighs> the it problem tough is, to get through for this plant. This is just going to be so awkward, Raven, because even if they try to push him here, they've still got Vast to worry about and Blue Bar, but my word, how does Digital find a second there? Joker's going to double down. He will find both players, but now in a two versus three, it's going to come down to the wire and Worthy, oh, from luggage, that is the gnarly line that Order were not expecting. 
And that is such a strong round for the defensive side of Chiefs. I just think in general, that round was always going to be tough for Order as soon as they lost that entry pick, just because of the way that the Chiefs were spread out. You might think that, yeah, you could isolate those as 1v1s and try and bring it back that way, but they were spread out in a way that they could still all cover each other or trade. It just made it really tricky for Order. So Order just prioritized getting the vertical control as they should. That was very helpful. But after that, they were just stuck. And it really I came down to trying to get Digital out of that position at the bottom of Cool Vibe stairs that was covered by Vast. It all had this big flow on effect. So really well played from the Chiefs, honestly. And mm. I think this game feels like it's going to come down to who can step up with okay, these attacks, which feels so weird to say for Coastline. Because yeah. for the longest time, it's just been a, a map that you could comfortably attack on, but just in this matchup between these two teams, it, it's a bit opposite. I'm going to go ahead and make uh, a bit of a statement uh, about the last time these two teams played, and it's going to lean into this map right now, this game. I honestly think that the Chiefs lost it. I don't think the order won it in you know the traditional sense that we talk about i think that it was chief's game from really the first half and for whatever reason it looked a little bit disjointed on their attacks like you're saying raven it will come down to the attacks but i honestly think that provided chiefs don't uh don't give it away so freely here we could really see just such a dominant game from them and oh uh, <laughs> Worthy, where have you been caught? How have you been Looks caught? Like, yeah, I think no, he was actually spawn no. picking kitchen. So oh, I mean, man. that's on him. I thought maybe he was running past and it was a pre fire, but no, I think he was trying to be a bit cheeky there and it's come back to bite him pretty hard. And I mean, digital double down, I guess. Eat your heart out, you may as well try to do something. Cutie going to be spotting him out there, and now he's stuck. He's actually going to go back up Cool Vibes and get away from Ippy Style just in time, who was hot on his heels. Oh, it's coming down oh. to little less than a pixel in it, Raven, but Digital holds onto his life for at least a minute longer here. As Order, this is the start they would have been praying for. They can now go to town on figuring out how they wish to attack Hooker. Yeah, already a much more positive start for them as compared to round one. Last time they attacked Hooker, they actually lost the opening pick. It's God Legion over Specker, and I think they're, they're looking a lot, a lot firmer already in this round. It's only halfway though, so see how it falls apart. God Legion, it's gonna get out of there, but Ippy Style wow. is on a heater. He's now on the triple for the round, and it oh. is disintegrated for the Chiefs in the last ten seconds. It certainly has. All but into dust. And now it's Digital and God Legion to bring it back. I just don't see a world in which they will be doing this, especially with Digital falling at the hands of Specker. But this is just not doable. Order have looked phenomenal so far. This would have to be the biggest ace clutch of God Legion's yeah, entire career right now if he's to pull this one back. 1v4, Order are all in fantastic post play positions. Cutie though caught sleeping on the repel, but with the time now against God Legion, it's a big task. He's made noise coming up cool vibes as well. They know his direct position. He can't take a hint of damage and Joker will receive the walk directly up the stairs. For now, we have even it out 2-2. Two, two. And once again, you know, was it really necessary for Worthy to peak there? I get the confidence. Worthy has been a nutty player for Chiefs in APAC South and OCN as well. But is it worth giving Order an opportunity back into this half? I think that's a really good point. On top of that, this is a bit of a personal preference thing. I think Spawn Peaking Kitchen is one of the worst Spawn Peaks on Coastline because it's so easy to pre-fire from a few different positions. It's also easy to see uh, from a drone outside. It looks like maybe that's what happened with Ippy Style is that they knew he was there. And uh, that's the dangerous thing with Spawn Peaking is if your opponent knows, you're probably toast. It's so much yeah. easier to pre-fire as an attacker. Defenders, protect your bombs from being diffused by attackers. <laughs> well, we're seeing a Rook for... 
I mean, this is fresh to my eyes. I haven't seen Rook in a very long time in competitive play, so... That could just be me, though. And they are the only two impacts that they will have, but... They'll have a, a vest each to play with, Raven. It's an interesting pick. I'm thinking it's for the 2x, Manic, because there's not many defenders that have access to a 2x. Yep. And Vast is running the 2x right now, so... Maybe it's to do with that. Is he going to spawn peak as well? Five Looks like he might be... I mean, he's drone hunting, but... No, he's going to run away. Ah, I was getting excited. But yeah, I think it's for the 2x, <laughs> if anything. Um, yeah. Maybe they're looking to implement a long angle. Could be playing courtyard with that 2x or something. I don't know, but it is... Yeah, it's not a pick you see often. Okay, so that last impact has opened an incredibly long line from who? Uh, sorry, from billiards all the way through to VIP. So that, like you're saying, Raven, may well be the play here. And depending on whether order spot this, I mean, like you just assume that they're going to drone this and and see that it is the rook. But depending on if they drone this or not, they may actually think that they're you know in the advantage for that long range fight. In which case, they could be copying a firm fist from Vast and Cutie taking out Worthy once more. Not the two rounds that we had been hoping for from him. And it has left this door open completely for order. Has been answered back, and that's Specca going down again. Digital. Oh, he gets the double onto Jack Dad. But to your point, Manic, I think this. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly how Worthy died, to be completely honest with you, but these early picks are really punishing the Chiefs, on top of the fact that Worthy has been one of their best players the entire stage. Very consistent and very impactful, especially late rounds. So to lose him early, it's uh, it's always going to hurt. Okay, bringing Mute has <laughs> obviously stunted just a little bit there. The push for order. Seemingly not with a lot of information on the digital right now. They are currently watching very firm from the outside kitchen window and digital. He just needs to sit. I mean, the longer he sits, the better. He could even pull out that pulse scanner and detect both the players that are sitting there. They're going to send it in here and hope for the trades. Digital gets his head ripped off by Joker and Vast just makes it away in time. But once more, tit for tat and they've lost the better part of nearly two and a half minutes here, Raven. That was a good time burn. I really thought Vast was going to try and peek for the trade, but in the end, it was probably a good option not to. He might have got the double, but with the two order players jumping in, it may have been even more of a trade and not worth it. So, right. It was a big time burn. Only 30 seconds to go now for order. And oh my God, Joker is so lucky to be alive. <laughs> Yeah, oh, at the moment, God Legion just stops it. Style from pushing on in. Vast can watch the line, and Joker's left with it all to do. Chiefs storm away with their third round of a half, and all things considered, Digital has really stepped up when they needed it. Yeah, he had a really big double there. Losing Worthy early, we thought, was going to be... A very tough position for Chiefs to bring back, especially given that Blue Bar Sunrise is one they lost pretty dramatically in round two. But yeah, to Digital's credit, he played fantastically in Kitchen. He got that double and he played so patient. I don't mind that they just jumped in and killed him because I reckon it was at least 40 seconds that they were camped at that window before they decided to do so. That is effective play as a Roma. Sometimes you do just have to stand there and accept they're probably going to jump in. They're probably going to swing on me. I'll try kill them, but mm. I'm going to die here. And I just think it was really well executed from the Chiefs. On top of the fact that Vast didn't actually go for that trade, because if he did, maybe he would have lost that gunfight and it would have yeah. been a man disadvantage in that final phase. And he would have lost the control of Sunrise Bar. And, you know, there's so many... Dom like, the thing with a game like Siege, there's there's so many dominoes that line up for you to be able to hold a site or hold a, you know, a specific section of the map. And... For two to fall, it could almost annihilate the entire setup. And, you know, who who was that on the Rook? You, you said it was um, Vast, was it? Yeah. So, I mean, like, Vast just backed away into Sunrise, still had those double reinforced uh, 
double reinforced walls next to the, the bar entrance. So he just had so much time to play with. And again, he dies. Maybe that's not the case. We just don't know. But nevertheless, I don't think Order will want to be wasting that much time again trying to uh, lock down a player like Digital. Well, any player, sorry. I, I, that was not meant to be a dig at Digital, I promise. <laughs> that was just meant to be any player. It doesn't make sure. a difference. The timing from Cutie nearly caught him, in fact. But he does make it away through to the cool vibes. And I think this may be the, the quietest start to a round we've seen so far. Yeah, it does feel like we've gotten a lot deeper than previous rounds without an opening pick. So, still waiting for that one. I think the important note there, though, especially if you're a Chiefs fan, is that Worthy isn't the opening pick in the first 20 seconds in this round, as he was the last two. Oh, digital. Oh, digital. You're looking at somebody. <laughs> and that was Iffy style. He's going to get that pick. Cam's gone. And, uh, oh, my God, this is a great start wow. from Order, but he's whiffed. It's traded at least, Manic. I mean, you know, you, I guess you're going to take your wins where you can get them. Although it's only one kill, it is Iffy style. Jack Daddy is low, too. The Chiefs are on Kitchen, just to remind you. And now this is the really tricky part. Because we've seen so many times on this site specifically man advantages go to waste on the attacking side. Sometimes because of time, sometimes because of unbelievable plays. But, yeah, you saw that. That was so close. That may have been a, a really big piece of the puzzle. Oh, yeah, that one is. <laughs> Yeah, I think Chiefs are still too keen to peak here. They have so much time still on the board. And again, with Kitchen, it's as soon as you give too much an advantage to the other team, it's so tough to defend. Like, you can kind of retake it. You can defend from the long angles, but it's really not easy. And you also can't defend on site easily, especially without a smoke. I think that's a, a strong band there from Order. It does make Kitchen pretty hard to defend. So, Order right now are really in the box seat to get a 3-3 half, which is incredibly representative of this matchup. Vast needs to stay alive here. In my opinion, he... Uh, well, I mean, if Vast had to stay alive, Fisher Guy could absolutely not die, but that pretty much crumbles the round just like that. And now Vast is just caught in the middle of it. Order with an incredible response to what Chiefs have done so far. A half ends three apiece. Yeah, that was a good, real back and forth half. And uh, I don't have a read right now who I feel like has better momentum because it literally just went trade after trade in terms of the round count. Chiefs order, Chiefs order, Chiefs order. It just yeah. felt like the order were adapting to what the Chiefs were doing well on defense and then vice versa. So, yeah, this is a, it's a really telling half. As we were talking about earlier, Matic, it's going to come down to who can excel in their attack half. Now, order... Wouldn't say they excelled because it was yeah. a three-three half, so it's now on the Chiefs. Not only did it go back and forth, back and forth, by the way, but from what I can see, <laughs> Hooker, Kitchen, and Bar were one on both sides. It wasn't like we were seeing a re-attempt from Chiefs that were losing them. It was. <laughs> Pretty even, and I think that that really goes to show uh, the matchup at OCM. You know, much to my uh, disappointment, it was definitely not a fluke. It was not that one-off. Um, and Order are looking quite strong, all things considered. They are in with an incredibly good opportunity, considering how defender sided we have seen uh, Coastline in their previous map. But I mean. In saying that, the bands are completely different, Raven. They've lost two pivotal uh, players for that defense that we saw work to good effect in the smoke and also the, uh, the mirror. So <laughs> we won't hold our breaths just yet. Yeah, no, look, I'm totally going to grab onto your point there. Again, just to remind everybody, Auto played mirror 100% of their coastline defenses in the last map we saw these two play. So without that mirror, they've heavily, well not heavily, but they will have to significantly change their lineup. Now, Cutie is playing the Valkyrie. That was banned last time by the Chiefs, so instead of the mirror up, they've got the Valkyrie. 
And it's going to just be a matter of whether this works out just as well for them or not, or whether the Chiefs manage to counter this better. Hmm. I'm super curious right now to see how well they enable a player like Ippy Style in his current form to really go off. Spec up. Speaking of current form, has been taken down. And there will be no impact that he will have right now. Obviously, the Banshee is still yet to play their effect. What are a very spread right now with two players completely on the other side. Vast ducking and weaving through the C4 mess. Yeah, Jack Dad just not quite hitting anything right now. F fortunately, poor man's on a donut. That C4 didn't quite hit the mark either. This is where Order are looking like they're just going to dig deep and hold and not try and give too much away to the Chiefs because, of course, time is starting to get on the later side of the round and the Chiefs have not put a lot of pressure actually on site. It's been really a lot about hunting these roamers and clearing out the map and figuring out what is in front of them. Now, it looks like there is a heavy rotate coming to the hooker side here. Oh, it looks like Jack Daddy has been spotted out. Yep, that is 100% confirmed. God Legion knows exactly where he is. Really cautious to not lose this fight. Love that from Cutie. Drops down the hatch to give his teammate the support he needs. But they have traded that for an extra man on site. That's an enormous oh. run out from Cutie. And it pays dividends with 40 seconds left, Raven. Have Order just made the call of a lifetime? That is big, but I think that means there's one off-site and one playing Cool Vibe Stairs. They now have that info. No, actually, Cutie has retaken through luggage, but this is going to be a hookah plant, Manic. They've smoked off the line. They've got 20 seconds. They're going to have to push hard. Oh, if Digital loses that, it turns into a two-on-two -two with only one point of attack. Cutie could still go massive here. He's got the C4. Is that going to be a double kill? How is Fisho guy still alive? No way, Cutie! You cannot be allowed to do this right now. Swings wide, Fish o guy clutches up massively because that was rolling away for order. What an attempt. Oh, that was a, a really big round from Cutie. He turns that one on its head. It felt like the Chiefs just had the right momentum to carry them through to a win. That run out... Oh, on top of the, the drop down, okay, I'm going to string this together. He dropped down the hatch. He saved Jack Dad. Jack Dad still died, but at least it was a trade as opposed to them going behind. But then Cutie ran out, got the huge flick onto Worthy, put it in an even position. And then, yeah, he almost clutched that down a 1v1. Absolute phenomenal effort from him. But also not to discredit Fisho, played that perfectly. He knew he was yeah. planting at seven seconds. So he could stick it without Cutie doing the, the zero second rush. But he heard it coming already. And he pulled off. It was really well played from Fisher in the end to secure it. And that was an exciting round, I'll tell you what. It certainly was. That mm, would have been one of the, the nastiest clutches I've ever seen. I mean, if Fisher hadn't have pulled off that diffuser in time, running back out of Hooker Door, he would have been killed by that C4 as well, to which Digital was killed at Cool Vibes only a second later. So that definitely was actually on the edge of... Uh, of possibility and as we now look at it the Chiefs sure they take that round and they're happy to have done so but the I think that the key point once again is how they were able to do that they did look strong from start to finish and it took a lot of magic from Cutie to even make that look close or doable so that that is a good starting point on their attack but like we saw in the last half Back and forth just seems the way it, it is at the moment between these two teams. So don't get your hopes up yet. Yeah. Now for those that may be wanting to follow the Ippy style storyline of can he get to the 2.0 KD, thanks to some, uh, <laughs> some maths from our, our friends, our other co-casters. Uh, if, if he's on six deaths, which he is, he's going to have to get 14 unanswered kills total. So Yikes. nine more kills without dying, basically, to, to close out the game. If he's going to get a 2.0 KD. I mean, if you're Chiefs, you'd be really happy at the fact you've been able to keep him quiet for now, but there's no telling when and if he will come back into that form that we've seen him in for so long now. And having said that, Jack Daddy's still just holding on 
two study with a little bit of pressure being applied both ways. But it doesn't look like Chiefs are overly interested in really pushing it just yet. Pusho Guy just applying a little bit more. Once more. Minute 30 left, and that's the pick that they've been looking for, that they've been praying for. Their prayers have been answered. Big pick. That's, uh, it's two rounds in a row now for Speck, and he's been the, the opening well. death, so he's really having a rough one. In fact, it's the fourth time in the game he's been the opening death. Really not working out for him, but as we've seen, Order have been able to really bring it back even from that tough start, and Vast has now been downed. So, if he's not recovered, it will be even. Main thing I'm noticing here, Manic, though, is this has been a significant time, and there's almost two minutes burned. Yeah. Oh, the thing is, I don't know if Jack Daddy knows that he has been injured. Goodness me, that was awfully close. Some incredible trades to come through, though. And with Vast being picked back up, there's not enough time here for Order to be able to waste. Or, though you couldn't imagine, especially with Cutie being droned out now, too. There's a little part of me that hopes that he fat fingered and pushed G just because it would have been really funny, but <laughs> not to be. He's picked her up and they know that he's here. Worthy wow. hunts him down. It's going to be a 1v3 for Ipistar, the man of the hour. Here it is. This is where the storyline begins for Order on the back of a 1 versus 4. Is it achievable? There's no better person to be in that situation. Digital does his job and does it well. That is the first time we've seen back-to-back -back rounds in a half. And Chiefs now are looking incredibly dangerous. They are. They really are. They're starting to look pretty, clo uh, pretty comfortable on these attacks. And the main thing I'm noticing is it just doesn't feel like any of their deaths are going unanswered right now. They're very effective with these trades. And that's what's really affecting order is they're not being able to get this man advantage where they're able to kind of overwhelm the Chiefs' attacks when they finally get to executes. It's, in fact, the opposite. So hats off to the Chiefs and the way they've been showing up in these attacks. We said that it felt like the kind of match that was going to come down to who can excel with these attacks. Now it's just about can the Chiefs maintain consistency with the way this is going? Because order in that other match the other night, they adapted really well to the way the Chiefs were attacking. So it almost feels like that might be what's coming. Tokubi, good to see you join the server. Every once in a while, we're graced with their presence. Um, I mean, I want a theory craft here, but I feel like it may be uh, to help counter what Cutie's brought in the Valkyrie. It is a lot of information that is definitely not an easy task of dismissing and I guess really the only other sound way of dealing with it, Raven, is to bring that IQ. I mean, this is all theory crafting right now, so Five seconds to go. I would love to see if that is uh, any effect for them. Regardless, though, the bomb. order have to get around now. They they just can't let Chiefs bully them like this, and they are reattempting that hooker defense. Dokubi could also be to potentially assist with roam clear. You know, it can help you not have to be as thorough with drones because if you call as you drone through a section even, you can start to hear the phones buzzing and it, it tells you like, oh, I hear a buzz, I need to drone thoroughly. If you hear nothing, you can generally assume it's safe. Now there's no mute on the side of order. That is the hard counter to dock his calls. So yeah, if you are droning and you have a, a dock be call go off, a logic bomb, then if you don't hear a buzz, you know that that whole section's clear. <clears throat> All right. Slowly but surely now, this time is going to wither. And if remained unanswered, Chiefs are going to be in a firm position, Ippy style. I mean, look, he doesn't go undroned. I mean, if, if he goes undroned, yeah, that would be pretty scary. We saw Cutie in a similar position on Tuesday night, but they will not be making that mistake. Chiefs thoroughly drone and find him out early on. Joker, though, that's a nice early pick. That's Fisho guy going down. 
And as far as I'm aware, two of the Salma charges with it. Yes, they've used that ace primarily to try and flush out that theater position. And it looks like the Chiefs are just going to rotate. Now, this is something that I'm surprised they didn't do earlier because something they got punished on the other night was they constantly tried to flush out that theater roam. It was Ippy style in particular that was just going ham. And it wasn't working out for them. So they're ignoring it now, but they've lost Fisho in the process. Joker with a big pick onto Digital Order, finally with a solid man advantage. Wow, Zuz. That is a way to respond, my god. God Legion has been another animal so far in this matchup and continues to be the demise of order. You said it, Raven. They had a great advantage and how quickly that has been dismissed. It really has God Legion stepping up. It was mentioned on the desk. If God Legion is up and firing, then the Chiefs seem to be winning their matches. Here he is on 11 and 6. They've set themselves up for a decent execute. Can they get this plant down? Oh, Worthy coming from behind on the Dockerby will be able to catch out Jack Daddy. And now it's just about burning this out. Can they hold in time? It looks like the diffuser is going to be confirmed with no vertical pressure. It's not possible. Now in a two versus two. Worthy stepping up massively. That is map point and playoffs point for the Chiefs. Now, you've brought it up, Manic. Playoffs point it is. If the Chiefs win this next round, not only do they win the map, they will book themselves a spot in APAC playoffs. Conversely, Order have now, even if they come back and win this in overtime, they cannot guarantee themselves playoffs. Now, they can put themselves in the window, but it will rely on the result of 7th Heaven and Q confirm later. So that's a pretty big deal in the camp of Order. It's now basically out of their hands. If they get five rounds in a row, for example, and win 8-6, they're still not guaranteed in playoffs. And definitely as a team and as players, that's a terrible feeling. You hate yep. your fate being in another team's hands. Well, Chiefs may well just rip it out of their hands altogether. The first half looked so promising from order. And now as the, the tides have turned, the Chiefs are starting to wither away at what was uh, the potential for a sensational match. And if left unresponsed right now, unresponsed right now, it will 100% just fall into the nothingness for order. I mean, you can't take away, they've had some pretty good performances in APAC South, but this is the big one. And Chiefs have almost booked their spot at the playoffs. It is yeah, look, so let's, close. Let's talk about that. That's a really big deal. It's APAC playoffs. They're not just going to be playing against other South teams. It's also going to be some of the APAC North teams. Mm. So that gives them even more experience to the broader APAC region. And that cements their name up there with some of the best in the APAC region. You know, top eight in particular of all of APAC. That's a really big milestone for this team. So this round really doesn't mean a lot and potentially the yep. subsequent rounds if it doesn't go to ot but this is the thing they have to lock it in they have to nail it now they've done three consecutive successful attacks it's time to close it out devil's advocate here chiefs were on map point at six four against order on sunday night and they lost it on this map will history repeat itself right now god legion Continuing to be the menace for the Chiefs, and he may well open the bank account once again. It is the kitchen defense here, and with no successful attempts so far for order on their defensive half, we have nothing to go off but Chiefs' dominant form. Yeah, and look, this is this is a really great play here from Jack Dad. He's just placed a new Mute Jammer on his person. So both the Lion Scan and the Logic Bomb from Dockerby are not affecting him right now. No drones pursued. It looks like God Legion is actually just going to try and hold him from this position. And this is good patience from the Chiefs. Solid rotate down from the vertical though from Order. And that's Ippy style caught on that rotate by Fisher Guy. It was about this time when things started to go crunch for the Chiefs. The minute and a half seems to be used as uh, a bit of a... Uh, a separation and preparation 
for what lies ahead. And right now, Order look to be somewhat scrambling, trying to reposition because if Chiefs continue to take this map control, it's going to be devastating. Worthy is now going to town on Order and it is almost time. It is the 11th hour, Raven. It is. This could be 50 seconds for Order just to hang in there or 50 seconds away from the Chiefs locking in APAC playoffs. Five versus three. Chiefs have a lot of control over through Sunrise. He looks like they're aiming for a kitchen plant. Order still all very much spread out and Cutie does have this vertical control. Joker on the flank as well with the Ella shotgun. But Chiefs are all over this. You feel like you would want that shotgun on site right now because it could really do some damage. The Chiefs, they are setting up. They are preparing the last 15 seconds and Specker hits an unbelievable shot. It's answered back by Digital. God Legion catches the rotate. And with Cutie that stands between one and none, he has to get something done. He'll try to rotate, but in a one versus four, Chiefs on playoffs point. They managed to claw it out and a six three victory against order raven they are going to the apac playoffs absolutely huge performance from the chiefs in the end a 7-3 that is a, a strong score line not dropping a single attack round in the second half now we highlighted a bit manic we felt like it would come down to who excels on attack wow it seriously did the chiefs did not drop one and that's got them the win I mean, the win condition coming into this was uh, partly God Legion playing incredible, and that is exactly what he has done. The call has been answered. And